what sense does the genealogy of Jesus make if Joseph is not his biological father? As you know, the biblical account of the origin and genesis of Jesus is that his father was not Joseph. His father was God. Nothing whatsoever remotely to do with God and sex, nothing to do with that. But by a miracle which God, the creator of all things, worked in the womb of Mary, by a miracle then, the fetus, Jesus, was initiated. I don't see any difficulty with that at all. The genealogy of Jesus is unlike anybody, with the possible exception of Adam, who had no physical father, physical mother. Jesus had a physical mother. That's Mary, who was the mother of the Lord Jesus. As in Luke 1, 43, Mary's the mother of my Lord Jesus, my Lord Messiah, not the mother of God. Your friends in the Catholic system, you should point out very respectfully and kindly that God cannot have a mother. God cannot be born and God cannot die. And God cannot have a God. Well, Jesus had a God, Jesus died, and Jesus had a beginning in the womb of his mother. So that is the genealogy of Jesus. I don't see what's difficult about that at all. I think uh, the point also is mm. to show that he's the Davidic Messiah, the Absolutely. promised male of the house of David. Which he must be. That's why he's called, uh, I believe Matthew starts saying, this is mm -hmm. the genealogy yes. or the origin of Jesus, the son of Abraham, the son yep. of David. Of also, here's a good uh, summary of, yep. of the purpose of the genealogy. In Romans mm -hmm. 1, Paul says, God promised mm -hmm. something to his prophets concerning his son, born mm -hmm. a descendant of David according to the flesh, declared the son of God with power by the resurrection from the dead, according to the spirit of holiness. So the point is, as you say, to show mm -hmm. That he's not only the son of God mm -hmm. by miracle, but more to the Jewish gospel, let's call it, of the kingdom of God. Yeah. That he is the one that God will put on the throne in Jerusalem. Absolutely. He has to be the son of David or he wouldn't be a candidate for messiahship. So that's why the, the linking to Abraham and David is essential there. And that what you call the Jewish gospel is Jewish in the sense that it all comes from the Hebrew Bible. We know that. But it is not a gospel only for Jews. We have to insist on that. There's only one gospel called the gospel of God, otherwise known as the gospel of the kingdom of God. That was what Jesus came to present. That's what Paul presented all the time. One single gospel of the kingdom for everybody without exception.